Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. On my last video where I was removing floor finish from the floor, I got a lot of requests on that you guys wish that you would have seen how we laid the wax and what was, how the finished product looked. So here are some dirty floors that we're about to complete right now. And I just wanted to show you guys how we laid the wax and the finished product. As you can see right here, we already started to scrub the floor and my husband is actually doing this part and I'll be laying the wax in a later part. Here my husband is about to set up the wax um, bucket for me. He is about to put the nylon mop on the stick for me so I can get ready. Here, guys, please don't come for me in this video. I'm trying to do this with one hand, but I'm trying to outline um, the areas that I'm about to do. And I'm also trying not to get wax on the baseboards, but trying to do it with one hand to show you guys was a little hard but here I'm just outlining the area that I want to get started on so that I can start applying the wax so I know that nowadays people use the flat mop system but we also have the flat mop system but I've been doing this for years and it's kind of easier for me to use the nylon mop no it does not you uh, leave any fibers or anything in the wax but it's also better for me because I could apply it heavier when I want to when using the flat mop system I can't do that Here I'm trying to go as fast as possible because under here is where I started. As you can see on the other side, it's wet. So when the video first started, that side over there is where I started. And you don't want to um, that side to get dry so that you can blend it, even though no one can see under that area. But as you can see, even out in the open area, I'm going to have to do the same thing because it's so big out there that I'm trying to make sure that it blends. So. Even though you have to be careful, you also have to try to make sure everything blends. At this point, I'm going down the edges with the leftover wax that's on the mop because I don't want the edges to have thick wax on them. 
when we go and do new floors, a lot, we have the hardest time getting the edges clean because that's where everybody normally likes to start. Some areas you're gonna have to start like that on your edges and it's gonna be heavy, but you don't wanna do that around the whole perimeter because you'll have a hard time when it's time to get it up. At this point here, you see I don't have any shoes on. It's because I am now on the second coat. Um, they have skid-free shoes that won't mark up the floor, but I would prefer to, to just do it in my socks. This is me right here looking for my phone, not realizing that this is what I'm recording with. I don't know if you can see in the background where my husband is working at, he's still actually stripping the floors right there, even though I'm waxing up to that point, but we kind of did a little overlay right there so that he wouldn't get any stripper on there. But this is a little tip we do because it's over 2000 square feet um, for me to start waxing while he's still stripping. Also, right here, the way I'm dragging the mop, I'm kind of dragging the edge of it, is because I don't want to get any drips on the um, floor, just in case it takes me too long to get it up. And here is the finished product after about four coats. This floor is actually dry now. And thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and I'll see you guys on the next video.